everyone welcome back to five day crypto happy friday today we're going to look at bitcoin we're going to start it off our friday on bitcoin usd what do we have to start it off with for the five day gaussian channel well look at this candle that's right now uh this is by no means a bullish candle and in fact one of the worst kind of candles you'd want to see however the good news is uh we don't close for nine hours from now so let's hope uh we go one way or the other with this this is almost a by definition a gravestone doji candle however even if we do print this i don't think the downtrend will be that severe uh, at worst case worst possible scenario in my book is we re revisit somewhere close to this uh top of the gaussian channel which is right just above 50k I, I i do think we'll have a turnaround sooner than that though i don't see that even if we do print this uh you know really bearish uh five-day candle uh, that would just kind of signify a, a more of a longer cool off than just, you know, a day or two. Maybe we have a week or so. Uh, so let's go look at some other charts and ease your mind a little bit. Let's start off with the weekly, the bigger picture, the bigger picture on Bitcoin USD and even on the weekly candle, which we still have two and a half days till this closes. But this is by no means bullish either, right? You have a long wick on top. The body of the candle is opening and closing almost at the same spot now if we come down a little bit that would be a little bit better honestly uh or go up a little bit and that would be still okay you don't want your body really thin with a long wake on top those are pretty bearish candles uh, so if that happens like i said before uh, it would just likely mean more uh sideways or slight bleed against uh the us dollar for longer than a day or so right it's probably just needs a little bit more of a cool off uh now like I said before, I think 50K is probably the ultimate low. Uh, but if you see this 21 week EMA right here, uh, you can notice that that's just shy of 48K. However, we're not gonna go just straight down, right? Uh, it might take a week or two if we if this prints and uh, you know we do in fact go uh, a little bit of a pullback over the next week or two. Uh, this, this line will continue to trend up. And once we meet that, you can see next week would be right here. The week after that would be right on this line, November 1st. And you can kind of project the trajectory out to be around around that, you know, 51, 52K level. Uh, and also that could end up being just a brief wick, you know, for a day or so and then close way back up. You know, uh, Bitcoin, I do think, is going to remain bullish uh, going in for the rest of Q4. Uh, but just maybe for the next, you know, handful of days uh, or maybe potential a week or so. Uh, we could be looking at just some cool off zone as we went up pretty fast here. So what about before that? What about before 50K? Well, it's just your eight week SMA. Look back in history. It tends to be a pretty nice solid uh, hold line when we're moving up. And if you notice these even candles, these candles right here, we could be doing something like this where we got not even to it, right? We didn't even go to it. How far away from it did we get? I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look, see. Uh, about let's let's it's hard to get real accurate here, but I would say within five to eight percent. Uh, so let's go look and see what we did. So if we come back down here and say, you know, next week is right here. So let's say the line is around 53, 54k, five percent within that, right? If we don't touch it, that's 56, eight percent is 58. So we're right, right there, right? That seems a little bit more easy, easy doable then we're you know, going all the way down to 50K. So it's done it before on the first initial kind of cool off zone uh, on a weekly time scale. Just got within, you know, five to 8% of that uh, eight week SMA. And, you know, historically when we have bigger pullbacks, it could wick right to it, just under it, but we close above it. So that's what I would look for. Um, if you don't, you know, if we don't um, end up going all the way down beneath it. The only way I see us going to test this 21 week EMA to start out with is if we close under that eight week uh, SMA. So just watch that. Uh, how about the shorter time periods? The daily, let's look at the daily. Well, you can see now, yesterday we closed right on that eight day SMA. Uh, now <laughs> this candle becomes more important because if we close under here, the odds just improve that we're going to go test the 21 day EMA. And that right now is just shy of 58K. However, same thing we've talked about before. Project it out one day. There's two days. There's three days, right? It could end up being 
59k or so when we get to it and again that could end up being just a simple quick wick could last minutes could last an hour or two right uh and then back up again so don't freak out too much i think bitcoin is going to end up trending up macro term but these are healthy pullbacks this is what you want to see you want to take a couple steps up and then some breathing room a couple steps up and then some breathing room you don't want to print constant green candles although that's nice at the time it's likely the, the more greens you print in a row, the heavier the pullback tends to be. So all looking good. This is nothing abnormal, right? Until we start doing abnormal things, uh, you know, like go back to May, that's not looking good, right? When you start printing, you know, just massive breaking lines quickly, that's what is concerning. So far, we're coming down, hit support, right? Hang out for a second, go back up, come back down. This is normal. Don't freak out. Bitcoin is looking still good. Just taking some healthy breathing time to recoup our energy so we can continue the move. All right. Hopefully that helps you. Crypto Fear and Greed Index. We're still in green. However, we came down from 84 yesterday. Extreme greed. Uh, back at 75. Let's look at the chart. So this is what we talked about even yesterday. We said if we come down, uh, it would be nice to hold even 75 so you don't make a lower low. So this is our low right now. We've now at another low. Depending on price action today for the rest of the day, um, if we hang out here, we might print a little bit lower. If we go lower, we just want to maintain above 70. That's our kind of our macro floor on a bigger scale. If you go out to three months, we've held 70 here uh, in early October, mid-October. We even held it back when we were back in here, right? 70. 70 tends to be kind of the floor for the fear and greed uh, before some prolonged down period trends, as you can see here. When you break 70, for whatever reason, tends to be more of a pullback than normal. All right, car of the day. We did the F50 yesterday. It makes sense to do the F40 today. And I just so happen to have some nice collector's items here. These are still in the box from 1987. You heard that right, 1987. Mint condition, And they faced them opposite ways for whatever reason. We have a yellow with red seats on the bottom. That's, I've never seen another one. And the, obviously the, the you know signature red on the Ferrari, but both still sealed in the box. Pretty cool. So F40, F50, signature cars for Ferrari, for sure. So whatever side you're on, now I've shown them both. So also rare to see the F40 headlights up. Isn't that pretty cool? Uh, maybe you'd never even seen that before. They maybe didn't know that happened. <laughs> uh, there's the, the rear end. I love this uh back in the 80s are you kidding me this car this car still looks sick look at the wide body i mean original wide i mean wide body is getting popular now but i mean back in the 80s to do a custom wide body like functional with the air flowing through here and then one of my favorite things with the f40 is they put their you know their embossed ghost signature f40 right there on the on the wing if you can barely see that i love when cars companies do that like you know blatantly hidden <laughs> So it's like in plain sight, but you could easily miss it. I love that stuff. Then like, look at the mesh and the grill in the back. And then uh, basically the whole engine is right here. And it's like all open air, but also protected. How convenient. The center exhaust, that's becoming more popular. But I mean, back in the 80s, mind blowing. The aerodynamics of this car were just insane when it came out. It's still insane. Still looks excellent today. But... You're probably going to have to break the bank to get one of these. I mean, you're looking at two, three, four million I've seen um, going forward, depending on the mileage, the condition, all that stuff. But I mean, I don't I don't think I've ever heard of one in recent years for under two million. So pretty insane. <laughs> so that's car of the day. Let's get to the quote of the day by Sadhguru. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Do not try to be the best. Just try to do your best. So don't worry about other people what they're doing. Try to better yourself. Just do the best you can. That'll get you farther than you could even imagine in life. I drop my kids off every morning. I Every morning before they get out, do your best, forget the rest. So I tell them every morning, don't, don't stress about anything. Life's too short to worry about little stuff. Do your best, forget the rest. That'll get you pretty far in life. All right, that's it. We'll, we'll do another video where we got more coming. I'm going to do a chain link video. We'll try to do some alts that uh, we made on that list on Twitter. So follow us on Twitter, Telegram, and Patreon if you'd like to learn more. Uh, those places, um, thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. And I'll see you on the next video. Happy Friday. 
be good or be good at it.